very good morning to each one of you today i am mrs valerie joshi we will start online teaching by means of video before i begin the session some general guidelines to improve your english skills do daily diary writing to increase your word length and after completing read it converse in english at home too do reading update your general knowledge by watching fast track news students for english we will be using ncert textbook that is honey dew let's begin with your first chapter that is the best christmas present in the world the author that is the narrator of the story is michael morpurgo the main characters of the story are the narrator himself jim macpherson connie macpherson that is mrs jim macpherson hence wolf some some points to be noted are when the narrator meets connie she is in a conservatory of a nursing room and her age is 101 years old that is she is old enough jim he is british soldier but before joining the army he was a school teacher hence wolf he is a german soldier he played cello in an orchestra and like marzipan which is a sweet covering of bread this is a very touching story the narrator that is the writer buys an old roll top dex and finds in it a letter written by jim to his wife connie whom the narrator goes to meet and hands over the letter once the narrator goes to a junk shop in bridport and he notices a roll top dex which was very old made of oak was in bad condition it had burn marks down on one side he buys it and notices that one of the bottom drawers was jammed after great effort he finds a secret drawer and in it he gets a small black tin box it was written by jim to connie on december 26 1914 it described a wonderful event between two armies that is the british and the german who were fighting against each other they had seen the sufferings of war and they favored peaceful solution to settle disputes that is fights they felt games or sports were good ways of resolving conflicts Jim wrote that it was Christmas morning. He saw German soldiers waving a white flag to wish happy Christmas. Initially, the British army felt it was a trick, but it wasn't. It a both the armies mingled, smoked, laughed, drank and feasted. They played football, both wanted peace, but no wars. The game was finished. They had drinks and cakes. Both went back to their trenches. Jim wrote to Connie that he hoped the war to be ended by next year. In the third part, the narrator puts the letter back into the envelope and and goes to Britport 
to meet Mrs. Connie. Connie mistook the narrator as her husband, Jim, and remembers that he had promised her that he would come on Christmas. She kisses him on the cheek and says that he himself was the best Christmas present for her. Students, as her house was burned, that is, it was caught in fire, so she was saved and kept in the nursing room. So did you understand the story?